Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new game on the channel. This is Midnight Scenes, episode 1, which is called The Highway. Uh, this is a short indie point and click game by Octavi Navarro, who actually did some animation on Thimbleweed Park, is an, uh, and, is, is, uh, sorry, and is an indie game developer. Um, yeah, it's based loosely around um, the Twilight Zone. Uh, it's a little sort of horror -y investigating point and click type thing. Uh, and we're going to play it. It was actually recommended to me by Ruben Lopez, who of course was the developer for um, Quantum Derail, which we played not that long ago. And here we go, Claire Barnes, age 29. She's about to discover what kind of horrors lurk in the darkness of a deserted road. A flat tyre delayed Claire's trip. Little she suspects how this little incident will change her life forever, as well as her perception of reality. Yeah, so this is episode one, as I said, The Highway. Um, there is an episode two, um, which I think we'll probably play at some point, actually. I've never played this before, so I don't know what to expect. I think it's relatively short, so maybe one video, maybe two or three at a push, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm really excited to play this. The, the animation style is amazing. Um, very reminiscent of Thimbleweed Park, actually, which was a year ago that we started playing that, if you can believe it, which I can't. Um, I'm guessing we have to maybe tune this radio or something. What do we have down here? Okay, this is just the options, fair enough. Ah. We had to turn it off. Oh, I love the eerie feel of the music. It's great, isn't it? Tonight's episode... The highway. I love how it's done like this. It's really clever. It is really cool, like it being a an episode in a series. And obviously episode two, I guess, maybe takes over from this, or it's a slightly different story, but in the same sort of um, series? I don't know. I guess we'll um, get to that when we get to it. But look at this. It's great. For an indie game, this is fantastic. I mean, I've played some great indie games before, but this is really cool. An unexpected obstacle, a new delay for Claire. She might need to find some help to resume her journey as soon as possible. Fortunately, she notices a signal pointing to a near emergency phone. Let's wish her luck. Okay, so what do we have here? What's this? A wanted poster or something? Doesn't appear like we can do anything to it. And someone seems to have drawn over the eyes and mouth, which is a bit weird. Um, so we also have this, okay, we can't go past that, that's some sort of zappy power line. Um, can we go back this way? Aha, there's a gate here. Oh, that's the same person. Interesting. Okay, let's open this up and go through this gate. Is this more of these posters? It is. Somebody's, like, defacing them. Well, literally defacing them in that one's case. Is it a missing poster? I don't really know. God, it's got a very eerie feel, hasn't it? Hey, a truck. What's this? Oh, that's the way out. Oh, this is... So this truck has ploughed into the power line, which has gone down here. I see. Huh, there's a photo here. Is that the boy? From the other things? Looks like his family and a horse. There's some blood on this as well. Wow, I love the soundtrack. It's great. It's um really making me feel a little bit anxious, actually, I suppose. What do we have here in the back? Oh, bolt cutters, but they, they're sort of tied down. We've got some string. A hammer. But the spade and the bolt cutters are padlocked, so we need to find a key to that somehow. What do we have here? What's this? Some sort of like... What the hell? A scarecrow? It's a kid's drawing of a scarecrow and a person. Okay, weird. Oh, here's the scarecrow, look. What the hell is this? It's a broom. Is that one of the scarecrow's arms? Can we not 
Oh, we can't go through here. Oh, here's the scarecrow. Can we put his arm back on, or...? We can. Uh, can we do anything with the string? No. We can! We can tie it together. I see. Can we use the hammer on anything? No. So, it looks like we've repaired the scarecrow a little bit. Um, can we break this down? No. Can we do anything else here? What is this about here? Something to do with the arms, maybe? This looks like the scarecrow, doesn't it, on here? I'm not overly sure what's going on. And there's that... Oh, okay. Does the scarecrow's arms have to be both pointing up, perhaps? Is that a thing? Ah. Aha! It's a combination to get in. I see. Clever! Uh-oh. Flashing lights in there. I don't like flashing lights. <laughs> it's got some paranormal sort of dealings going on here, maybe. Ooh, what is going on in here? We've got uh, some pictures on the wall. A man and a woman. The scarecrow again in the background. Please don't tell me this is some sort of haunted scarecrow because that will scare the hell out of me. Oh, this is when they had the baby who became the missing child, I'm assuming. Uh, so we've got a window. We've got another thing. Oh, it's the man in the truck which ploughed into the thing outside. Okay, so we can turn this on, but it doesn't seem to work properly. What do we have here? Oh, it's the, the dad and the boy building the scarecrow with the special mechanism to open the gate, I see. What's in here? Whoa! Jeez, that scared the life out of me. Wow, that really scared me. Flipping hell. Uh, I don't think we can actually click anything in here. I think the dad's dead in here. I think I just saw the dad dead down here on the floor. Oh man, I don't like that. Let's leave this room. <laughs> okay, um, that actually scared the hell out of me. Hey, there's a way out the back of this house. Uh, what do we have here? A bit of wood with a hole in it. What's this? Ah. And a nail. So I guess we can use this together. So use the hammer to knock the nail through the wood. But I don't know what we, where we nail it to. Oh, here perhaps. Right, I see. What's this? I can't reach it. Okay. So if we put this in here. So I guess they buried the horse here. The horse from the picture must have died. Oh, we've lost our hammer now. Fair enough. What happened to this tree house? This is a lamp, is it? Yeah, it is. What else do we have up here? There was something... Or did I imagine there was something we could click on? I think I imagined it. Okay, let's go down the ladder. I guess we need to use this lamp in the, the bathroom. Maybe the dad has the key on him. Oh, I don't want to do this. This makes me feel horrible. It is him, look. It's the dad. Oh, jeez. What's gone on here? He's tried to repair something on his arm. He has got the key. Okay, is there anything else we can click on him? I don't think there is. What's that like noise? Like gas or something? Oh, mate. I just want to get out of here. Jeez, that is horrible, isn't it? Let's turn that off. Can we, can we not turn the lights off in this place? It's freaking me the hell out. Do you know what? For it's for such a, a pixel art point and click game, it is really freaky, isn't it? Well, I am... I don't know. I'm feeling really on edge playing this. It's very cleverly done. Right, we've got some bolt cutters. Oh, that's all we could take, believe it or not. Okay, what do we use the bolt cutters for? Maybe back out here? I didn't really see anything to be bolt-cutted, or anything bolted up, unless we use it to, like, 
cut something here. But I'm just going to get zapped. I don't think we can use it on there, can we? Unless we can use it on this thing. Okay, am I, am I missing something around here? How do we... Maybe we've got to cut the power around here, around the other side. It's the only thing I can really think of at this stage. Is there a... I mean, it's not really connected to anything. No. Uh, it's got to be something here then, right? In the car? Can we maybe use the bolt cutters in here on something? Unless perhaps we can... Can we bolt cutter this? Do you know, I don't actually know what we use these bolt cutters for. I haven't really seen anything that needs cutting with bolt cutters. I don't know. Am I missing something? I feel like I maybe am. I don't think... Unless, can we open the engine? No. I've, we've got to turn the power off somehow, surely. Unless there's something back this way. No, we can't go that way. Guys, I am baffled at this point a little bit. Can we open our car door? We can, but we can't really do much here. What is this thing? See, until we cut this off, we cannot do anything. Unless we cut this here. Can we maybe do that? I don't think we can. I can we cut anything with these? No, it doesn't look like we can. I have no idea. I am, like, really stuck now. <laughs> um, what can we do? Uh, what can we cut here? <laughs> There's literally nothing that I can think to cut except this power line. Oh, there we go. I was clicking on the wrong bit. Can you believe it? <laughs> Honestly. Sometimes I'm so silly. Okay, here we go. There's a phone thing down... Oh, jeez, another car. Wow, jeez, what has gone on down here? Something very strange is happening here. These people's deaths don't don't look normal. There's something very odd happening. What's this? Some sort of map of the area, perhaps? And a cave. Some sort of cave. And something behind the cave. Okay, um, what about this lady? What's that? Is that a person? It looks kind of like a person. Why do these people have, like, clipboards? Like they're some sort of scientists or something. It's the boy, and he's, like, hooked up to some sort of machines. What the hell is happening here? This is getting very scary, actually. Oh, no, this is the cave. Okay, let's use the phone. He's missing there still. How do we, uh, dial out? How do we dial? I don't think it works. I think it's been cut off. I don't... Oh! Jeez! What the hell? Who the hell's that? Scared the life out of me, man. Oh, hell no. What the hell is that? Is that the the kid? I think it is. I think it's the kid with the horse. They've done some sort of experiments to him, I think. Oh, that actually scared the life out of me, you know. Claire Barnes, age 29. With great effort, she finally managed to push aside the fallen power pole and resume her journey. Is that it? Still terrified, she stopped in the first gas station to contact the authorities and inform about the disturbing events she had just witnessed. 
Nothing out of the ordinary was found by the police on that stretch of road. No signs of any crash or the presence of any mysterious kid. The man living in the farm was found, a bit drunk, but in good condition. Not a single word was written in any newspaper about the horrors Claire witnessed that night. What the hell? She went on with her life, trying to convince herself that she wasn't crazy after all. That she probably just saw something not meant to be seen. Wow. Okay, that's it. Midnight Scenes, The Highway. Uh, it's a little bit shorter than I thought it was going to be. Design programming, art and music by Octavi Navarro. Wow, he did it all. Sound effects, freesound.org. That was pretty cool. I enjoyed that game. I really did enjoy it. Um, it was freaky. I felt like I was in the game. The, the atmosphere that it created was brilliant. Yeah, it's a pretty cool game. If you enjoyed this short game, please consider supporting the work on Patreon. There you go, Midnight Scenes, copyright Octavi Navarro, 2017. Okay, so yeah, what a cool game. I really enjoy playing that, actually. Um, it's shorter than I thought it was going to be, but um, really good fun. I'm really excited to check out um, the second episode as well at some point, because <laughs> even though it was short, it was a very intense game and atmospheric as well. I felt like I was there. I, I actually jumped a couple of times playing this game, believe it or not. And I know I'm a massive wuss, but it was really cool to play an indie point-and-click game that felt so professional. It, it really did feel good to play this game. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it for Midnight Scenes, Episode 1, The Highway. We will play Episode 2 at some point, I can tell you that. Um, next up, we are going to play The Curse of Monkey Island, also known as Monkey Island 3, um, and that will be starting on Saturday. So... I'm actually really looking forward to playing that because I've never played that one, so it's going to be a completely blind playthrough. Uh, but this has been Midnight Scenes. Definitely check out Octavio Navarro's stuff if you can. I think he's got another series as well, or an another game called The Library, which we might check out too. Um, yeah, the, the pixel art and everything is just beautiful, isn't it? I love the, the black and white feel as well, and the way it's like Twilight Zone and all that. It's, it's really, really well done. Um, it's been good fun playing it. So, as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I will see you all next time.